This very security outfit is very, very proactive. It has been set up that very way. We are going to confront every enemy. We are going to confront anybody who, have, who will come to kill us. Because trust me, they will come. As somebody once said, there is a method in our madness. We will draw their army down into our land. Their flanks will be opened up. Their villages will be occupied by bandits and terrorists that they themselves created. That by the time they are done and we have sent them packing from Biafra land, they will have no home to go to. All of them don't have no home to go to. The zoo is finished and there is nothing anybody can do about it. We are not going to keep on weeping. This very evening, we want to remind the world that Fulani terrorists massacred us at Nimbo. They killed us at Ozowani. They came to my house with uniforms and killed over 28 people. As a result of which, my parents died. These people will continue killing. All of you are witness to what happened in Obibo. We cannot allow such to happen again. And any governor who foolishly sides with the zoo to inflict death, pain, and suffering upon our people will be held personally responsible, himself and his family. Himself and his family. And all of you that participated or encouraged the slaughter of the innocent at Obibo, you all will be held accountable at the right time. You cannot go free, including we. You cannot go free. I assure you, I'm saying it so that the world can hear. So that the day you meet your nemesis, they will know that I announced it live on air. If they want us to go to ICC, we go to ICC. Any court in the world, they want us to go to, we we'll go there. But we cannot go free. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. And the same goes for any other idiotic governor that may want to kill our people. It will no longer happen. In the coming days and weeks, people are going to come out to protest. This very Eastern Security Network will provide much needed security for protesters across Biafra land. I repeat, they will provide security for prote peaceful protesters across Biafra land. Any idiot in uniform that wants to dare us, you're more than welcome to do so. But you will bear the brunt and the consequences will be very, very dear, I assure you. I assure you. Those of you that bore witness to what happened at Zakibiam, at OD, MN, Obibo, Isiama Farugu, in Aban, in Atumpo must know that we cannot allow such senseless state-sponsored massacre of the innocent to continue. We can't allow it. We will never ever allow it. Therefore, I am placing the United Nations on notice, the EU, British government, the US government, that wherever the Nigerian army goes in again to massacre innocent people, we are going to retaliate. We will retaliate. Obibo will be the last time any sitting governor anywhere will give the order for innocent people to be killed. Should that happen again, that governor will die. I am saying it so you cut out this very clip and send it to the ICC so they can have it there with them. And all these criminals, all these murderers, we shall meet them there. Should the deed arise, you cannot go about killing innocent people and you expect them to do nothing. It is impossible. Absolutely impossible. It cannot happen. We have come to die for what we believe in. We have come that we may be free. The zoo called Nigeria was created by a white man, not an African. Named by a white woman, not a black African woman. It has no right to exist. And anybody that kills in the name of Nigeria will be held responsible by us because it seems that the ICC doesn't want to do anything it seems that all the courts of the world are silent as innocent people men women and children are being slaughtered on a daily basis in Nigeria we can't allow that to continue
Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. This very Eastern Security Network is not, and I repeat, is not the army of Biafra. When the time comes for us to raise the army of Biafra, we shall announce it to the whole world. It is merely a vigilante group, the same way you have Amotekun and Miyeti Allah's national vigilante in Nigeria. That is why we must all be very, very measured in how we approach the issues that confront us at this very critical time of our history. We must remain resolute and determined all those in the pay of Janjawi, they will come to try to discourage you from supporting this very wonderful initiative that none of your governors were able to do. As some of you will see in the video that will be posted or published after this very broadcast, you will see that we are united all the way from Kogi down to the Atlantic Ocean. We are one, one family and indivisible. We are not going to allow ourselves to become distracted by paid agents of the damnable Zoological Republic. Self-defense is a constitutional right. Self-determination is not a crime, but a right under the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and customary international law. Therefore, I make no apologies for pursuing Biafra relentlessly and determinedly. It can never stop. Those who underestimate our resolve do so at their own peril. As I've said before, we are not alive, we are dead already. When you see men, you will understand how determined we are. But there is one thing we have resolved to do. From today onwards, the death of every Biafran will be avenged. If you kill a Biafran, you will be killed. No matter who you are, we will keep pursuing you until you die. You will have no peace and you have no rest. I'm saying it on video that the whole world may understand. In 1966, the world kept quiet as Biafrans were slaughtered in their numbers 300,000 in the north, 67 to 70, over 3.5 million people were killed. Nobody stood trial for it. Rwanda lost less than 100,000 people. ICC and international courts were convened to try those who were responsible, or should I say, those who were culpable. The same thing in Liberia. But because you killed us, between 66 and 1970 and nothing happened and from 1945 to 1966 and nothing happened that was the reason or should i say that is the reason why the Fulanese will keep coming to kill us on a daily basis right now from this day onwards if you kill us we are going to kill you the men are ready they have come to defend their land not to separate from nigeria no we are going to accomplish that via a referendum. But if you come to our villages now to rape our mothers or abduct our sisters, you will die in the process. Any governor found aiding any of these people or giving our land to Fulani Janjaweed will be in trouble with us. Let me make one thing abundantly clear to all of you listening. We have resolved to die for what we believe in. And our belief is simple. Very, very simple. That we are going to defend the land of Biafra with all our might. Not in pursuit of secession, as the idiots would say, but in pursuit of the defense of our land so that our mothers can go to the farm without the risk of being raped and torn to pieces. Some of you saw what happened at Uli how a very beautiful young Biafran lady went to the farm and never came back. She was not only raped, her body was mutilated, cut into pieces and strewn all across her farmland. None of you did anything. An ambrasted governor did nothing. Instead, 
he went along to appoint the same people that committed such heinous crime against the land itself into his cabinet. These are the idiots we are having to contend with in the land of Biafra. And we are saying enough is enough. If you are part of this very conspiracy to emasculate the children of God, to destroy Biafra land, then you are grossly mistaken. I know that the Fulani Janjaweed are not highly educated, they are not polished, they are not discerning. They cannot reason very well. Let me make this very, very clear. The Eastern Security Network is what it is. An organized vigilante outfit, rather than restricting the activities of the defense of our land to maybe Enugu State or Delta State or even Bayasa State, for instance. We have resolved to defend the entirety of Biafran territory. Allow me to repeat because some of you are not educated enough to understand what we are saying. I am addressing this to the Fulani Janjaweed. Allow me to repeat. The Eastern Security Network is there to safeguard our land. To stop Fulani terrorists from Mali, from Gambia, from coming into our land to kill us. Our mothers must return to their farms and our daughters must be able to move about very, very freely. The only way out of the mess people are in in Nigeria is that people should stop talking and doing the work necessary to free everybody from this Fulani inspired bondage. Today, people died or should I say a lawmaker was killed in Yoruba land. This same day today, in Benue State, four people were killed. Even in Katsina, young boys were abducted and girls, as a matter of fact, from the dormitories. That is the level of insecurity in Nigeria. People are dying on a daily basis. Are you going to sit down, just lament, talk about it and nothing happens? Or are you going to join us to ensure that this reign of planet terrorism and insecurity is brought to an end. That is what we are for. That is why this very security outfit has been set up. And that is the work they are going to do. And nobody, and I repeat, nobody is going to stop us. Extra judicial killings will no longer be tolerated. Any police commissioner, any commander of whatever army unit you are, you bring out your men to come and kill innocent people, you and your family will also die. Because that is the only language you idiots understand. When people keep quiet, you kill them. You have stifled peaceful protests. You have killed people. You have lied about it. And you think you will go on killing innocent people. It can no longer happen, not in Biafra land. Elsewhere you can try it, not in Biafra land. Although the ICC have belatedly decided to investigate atrocities by the Nigerian Army Police and politicians, sadly their intervention has come very, very late. Very, very late indeed. A lot of people have died and a lot of families are angry and they are grieving. And they want vengeance. And I do not blame them. And I can never blame them regardless of the enormity or gravity of action or actions they may take in order to avenge the death of their loved ones. Therefore, if you're a politician or a commander and you are involved in the killing of people, know that your life is no longer safe. I can assure you. Cut what I'm saying and send it to ICC, send it to the US government, send it to everybody. I want us to go to that court in ICC and we present the catalog of destruction and mayhem and of terrorism perpetrated by the Nigerian government itself. And we'll see who will be convicted. If you think that the lies of Mwike can do your dirty job for you, then you are grossly mistaken. Because Mwike understands the mess that he's in. He can never be a free man until the day he dies. I'm saying it in the public so the whole world can hear. Mwike doesn't deserve to live. He doesn't. And that goes for any other governor 
that will preside over the killing of innocent people. They have made the zoo ungovernable, not us. Our job is, is to defend our land, and that is exactly what we are going to do. You know, they always, uh, they love doubting us all the time. They think we are joking, that from tomorrow the music will change. <laughs>